Hello. Hello, Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Tired. Tired. Yeah. Yeah. You work today, right? Yes, I work. Yes, I work. You work today, too. All right. How are you doing with the kids at home, Iris? Uh, con mucho trabajo con mi niño. <laughs> okay, a lot of work with the kids. Yes. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yes. Homework too? Homework from school? Yes. Yeah. Muchas tareas. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's only one? Yes. Only one. <laughs> okay. What about you, Freeland? How are you today? Okay. What? Well, did you work today, Freeland? And what about you, Karen? How was your day at work? I see your microphone is off. Oh, uh, yes, yes, all right. Um, meeting in the um, in the Sampson. Oh, you had a meeting today. Yes, yes, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. A meeting, a lot of work. Okay, but you don't work on weekends. Um. Um. No, the. Uh, Monday um, and free. <laughs> okay, that's great. What about you, Jose? How are you today? Uh, fine, teacher. You were not in class yesterday, right? Yes. Uh, I I work in. Como digo, trabajaba esa hora. Ah, at night shift. Trabajó en el turno de noche. Eh, no, aún eh, alargué mi jornada de trabajo. Ah, okay. So you were working at that time. Okay, yes. All right. Oh, that happens. And you a lot of work. A lot of work. What do you do? Sí. What is your occupation, Jose? Uh, auditor. Ah, okay. I imagine that's heavy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, well, uh, yesterday we were discussing about um, places, right? Do you remember yesterday class? We were talking about places and where can we get some things like, for example, where can you get a hammer? Do you remember? Where can you get a hammer? Mm. What happened with the vocabulary? Where can you get a new pair of shoes? In a shoe shop or a shoe store, also in a department store. Okay, where can you get a cake? A bakery. In a bakery. Okay, where can you get um, a pair of earrings? Jewelry store. A farm store. In a jewelry store. Yes, in a jewelry store. Um, where can you get a blouse? Clothes store. In a clothes store or in a department store too? Okay, uh, where can you get uh, a hammer? Hardware store. In a hardware store. Okay, very good. Good job. 
All right, so we're gonna start today with the listening exercise because we also have to work on the listening part, okay? So I'm gonna share the screen with you so you can see what's good. Okay, this is what we're going to do. All right, uh, we're gonna listen um, this part, it is listening, I need a new Swimsuit. You know what swimsuit? Traje de baño. Yes. Okay. That's a conversation. It says I need a new swimsuit. Okay. We're going to listen to a family talking about what they need. And what you have to do is to complete this chart. I'm going to ask you to write on your notebook. Yeah. You ready with your notebook? Okay. You have your notebook. All right. Yes. Okay, you see this chart? We have four people, Jean, Mom, Dad, and Mike. You're going to listen and complete this information. What do they need? In this case, it's a Jean, she needs a swimsuit. Where, where can she get it, okay? Van a completar qué es lo que necesita cada persona y dónde lo van a comprar. Eso lo van a escuchar en la conversación. So, en su cuadernito solo van a escribir esto que está aquí. Van a hacer como el chart y luego vamos a escuchar para que ustedes completen la información. ¿Ok? Les voy a dar tiempo para que escriban ahorita en lo que estamos con eso. Okay, ready? Ready. Yes. Yes, okay. yes. I'm gonna play the listening. Complete the chart. What do they need and where can they get them? Page 87, exercise two, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A, listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you gonna come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm gonna go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things too. Two. Are you gonna look for some clothes, Mom? Oh no, I'm gonna go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're gonna take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh good, can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Okay. Did you complete the chart or do you want to listen one more time? One more time. One more, one more time. time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Page 87, exercise two. Is the volume okay? Está bien el volumen o le bajo un poquito? It's okay. It's perfect. Okay, okay. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? 
Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Did you complete it? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're going to check your answers. Okay, you need a swimsuit. Where is she going to get it? Department the store. Okay. Let, let us check the answers. Ta -da! You have the turn. Okay. You were right. Yes. Uh -huh. Supermarket cookies. Yes. Okay. Uh, at the supermarket, and mom needs some cookies. Cookies. And she's gonna get them at the supermarket. Okay. Dad okay. needs aspirin. Aspirin in the drugstore. In the drugstore. Mike. A magazine. 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 Book, book and he's store. going to get it at the bookstore. Bookstore. Okay, were your answers correct? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, nice. That's nice. Okay. Also, yesterday we practiced this conversation, right? Ayer practicábamos esta conversación. Si la recuerdan, verdad? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Let the public restroom. All right. Um, then we have the pronunciation about this compound noun. Remember that pronunciation is very important in English. Uh, intonation is important. Stress is important. And in this compound noun, we're going to practice um, El estrés en las palabras en inglés es como lo que en español sería el acento, ¿verdad? Es donde se hace la fuerza de voz. En inglés no hay tal cosa como el acento por escrito, solo es la pronunciación. Donde ven esta bolita, acá, es donde va el estrés, donde se hace la fuerza de voz. Aquí, aquí hicimos post office. Okay. Post office. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Gas station. Gas station. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Drug store. Drug store. Book store. Book store. Supermarket. Supermarket. Department store. Department store. Okay. So, ahí donde está la bolita es donde van a escuchar que se hace la... la Fuerza de voz. Vamos a escuchar el audio. Ustedes pueden repetir. Page 87, exercise 4, pronunciation. Compound nouns. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop, drugstore, bookstore, supermarket, department store, department store, 
Say one more time. Page 87, exercise four, pronunciation. Compound nouns. Part A, listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Bookstore. Supermarket. Department store. Okay, now we have to practice these sentences and pay attention to the stress in the compound nouns. Uh, let's see. For example, here it will be there is a restaurant in the drugstore. Okay, there is a restaurant in the drugstore. Can you repeat? There is a restaurant, a restaurant in the drugstore. Okay, very good. There is a bookstore in the department store. There isn't post office in the supermarket. There isn't a post office in the supermarket. There isn't a coffee shop in the gas station. There isn't a coffee shop in the gas station. Okay, one more time. There is a restaurant in the drugstore. There is a bookstore in the department store. There isn't a post office in the supermarket. There isn't a supermarket in the supermarket. There isn't a coffee shop in the gas station. There isn't a coffee shop in the gas station. All right. Well. To continue with the topic, we have to study some preposition of places. So we're gonna move on to the next page. This, you can find this in the platform. All right, okay. We have prepositions of place. Okay, let's listen, the prepositions of place. Page 88, exercise five, grammar focus. Prepositions of place. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Okay. Here we have the preposition. The preposition on, when you use the preposition on, means sobre. 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 Uh -huh. sobre. For example, aquí the, the department store is on Main Street. Okay? La tienda de departamento está sobre la calle principal. Okay? The department store is on Main Street. Main Street. Mm -hmm. Okay. Main Street. Main Street. And then we have the preposition on the corner of. And you have the illustration here on the corner la of, en la esquina de, y ahí puede mencionar las calles para ser específico, ¿verdad? Um, on the corner of Main and First, está diciendo que está en la esquina de la calle principal y la primera, la primera avenida. avenida. Mm -hmm. On the corner of Main and First. Okay, when you say across from, Across from is al, al, al otro lado de, right? Across from, in this case, it's across from the park. Estamos diciendo está al otro lado del parque o al cruzarse del parque. It's across from the park. Okay, the preposition next to, it means al lado, contiguo, a la par. Mm -hmm. 
next to it's next to the bank está it's next to the bank al lado del banco contigo al banco o a la par del banco all right now between when you say between es que en está en medio en medio de dos cosas en medio de y ahí menciona the bank is between the department store and the restaurant aquí estamos diciendo que el banco este es el banco Está entre la tienda de departamento y el restaurante. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Okay. ¿Estamos bien con las preposiciones estas? Yes, yeah. Okay. So you ready for the practice. Okay. We're going to look at the map. Vamos a ver el mapa. No sé si quizás les voy a mandar aquí la, la captura. Teacher, de... yes. y, y en el caso de across from, es como decir en vez de in front of. Mm, Se puede usar in front of también. Mm -hmm. In front of, across from. Porque esa fue la que aprendimos la en las secciones pasadas. Uh -huh. Sí, es similar. Básicamente sí. diría que lo mismo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Les voy a mandar esto. Ok. Y ahora vamos a ver el mapa y vamos a aplicar lo que vimos de estas preposiciones de lugar. Ok, creo que acá estamos bien. Ok, viendo el mapa, acá tenemos los diferentes lugares de gas, gas station. Este es un parking lot. Este es un parqueo, parking lot. Es esto que está acá, parking lot. Ya, yeah. parking lot es esto. Love Department Store, the Doctor Hospital, the U.S. Post Office, the City Bank. Second Avenue Bookstore, Davis Drugstore, P&J Supermarket, Favorite Shoes, Alice Coffee Shop, Regency Movie Theater, then we got Maria's Restaurant, and the City Bank, we have a park here. So, looking at the map, you have to complete this, these sentences. Vamos a completar estas oraciones utilizando preposiciones. On between, on the corner of, next to, y across from. Hay que completar. Si gustan, solo escriban número uno y las dos uh, respuestas acá para que no lo copien todo. I'll give you time to complete that.
Is it finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, we're going to check your work. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, volunteer for number one. Volunteer. Okay, Carla. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It is, um, sorry. On, on the, on the show store. Mm. Next. Next to? Next to, next to, sorry. Yes, next to the next. shoe store. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, volunteer for number two. Number two. Okay, movie Felipe. Uh -huh. The movie theater is on the corner of Park and Moon. It's in front, no, across from the park. Okay, the movie theater is on parking main. It's across from the park. Mm -hmm. Aunque así también se entiende porque está cabal en la esquina. So, me parece bien. Thank you. Uh, number three. A volunteer for number three. The station is next to the parking lot. Okay, let's see. It's, it's, it's the first and center. On the on first and center. Okay, the gas station is across from the parking lot. It's on the corner of first and center. First and center. Uh -huh. Ahí está bien. Pueden decir on first and center o on the corner of first and center. That's okay. Thank you so much. Uh, number four. Let's see. I have two volunteers here for number four. Okay, it is. Uh, the post office is on the center and second is next to the hospital. Okay, it's next to the hospital. Uh -huh. Puede decir on or on the corner of. That's okay. Thank you so much, Iris. Very good job. And uh, number five. Um, number five. Carla. Okay, the bank Carla. Is, the bank is between the restaurant and the department store. Is on... Main Street. Okay, that's the answer. The bank is between the restaurant and the department store is on Main Street. Very good, good job. Now, um, to continue with this topic, I have another exercise in which you're going to look at the map and then you're going to answer if the sentences are true or false. And let me find the, okay, this is the file. Okay. Okay, we have this map and we have some, maybe we can find new vocabulary here too. Okay, we have these places, let's see, internet cafe, computer store, movie theater, Post office, apartments, gas station, pet shop, bus station, bookstore, 
library, gym, uh, test the testing center, the John supermarket, hospital, city hall, and police station. Creo que la única nueva que tal vez tengamos aquí es este, ¿verdad? City hall. Do you know city hall? No? Alcaldía. Yes, very good. That is the alcaldía, the city hall. All right, so. Number one, can you read the number one, uh, Freulein? The gas station. The gas station is next to the pet shop. Is, is that true or false? True. It's, it's true. It's true, yes, it's true, excellent. Felipe, can you read number two? True. The, po the true. post office is on Ocean Road. Is true or false? Is false. False. Uh huh. It's on Main Martin Street. Main it's on Street. Martin. Mm -hmm. Martin. Yes, it's false. It is number three. The internet coffee is across from the movie theater. Okay. The internet cafe. Uh, false. Yeah, it's false. Mm -hmm. It's false. Good. Um, let's see who's next. Uh, Patricia. Okay, can you continue, Patricia, with the number five? The library. Okay, Patricia. I think that you have problems with the audio. Jose, can you do number five? Number five? Yes, please. Uh, a moment, a moment. The library? The library. Huh? We, we can, uh, the library is between the gym and city hall. Vamos. Oh. False. False. Yeah, it's false. It's false. Carla, can you do the number six, please? John's supermarket is on Market Street. False. Yeah, it's true. True. Yes, it's true. John's supermarket is on Market Street. Uh huh. Here is the supermarket and here is the street. It's mm -hmm. true. Okay. Uh, Noe, can you do the next one, please? The bus station. Mm, I think Noe. That doesn't listen. Carla? Now, number seven, seven, please. Seven. seven. Yeah. The bus station is across from the hospital. It's true. Uh -huh, it's true. The bus station is across from the hospital. That's great. It's true. Number eight. Number eight, Victor. Um, the station. The pet shop. Victor. Okay. Estoy viendo el mapa. <laughs> okay. Uh, number eight. The pet shop. Here is the pet shop. Is. It's true. The pet shop is between the gas station and the bus station. It's true. Very good. Excellent job. Okay, Thanks. that is um that is another one, number nine. Let's see. Danny, can you do number nine? Yes. 
It says there are apartments behind the police station. Is true or false? This is the apartment. It's false. It's false. Yeah, it's false. Here is the apartment. The police station is false. Good. Um, and the last one. Let's see, Antonio. There is Antonio there. Antonio, uh, can you do number ten? The youth testing thing is on the corner of Martin Street, uh, Ocean Road. It is false. It's false. Yes, it's false. Excellent. Okay, that is to give directions only using prepositions. Eso es lo que hemos practicado ahorita. Cómo dar direcciones solo usando preposiciones. Ahora, también en la plataforma hay como um, un poco más de vocabulario, cómo preguntar las direcciones y cómo darlas ya con un poco más amplio vocabulario. If you have this presentation, so you can um, vamos a mirar acá un poco de vocabulario. How to give locations and directions. Okay. So, Para preguntar, usted puede preguntar usando where is, where is, ok? Por ejemplo, aquí, where is the supermarket? You can say it's around the corner. It's around the corner, ajá, la vuelta de la esquina. Where is the library? Uh, from, from. Uh -huh. It's across the street, o le puede decir across from the street. That's okay. It's across the street, it's across from the street. Where is the hospital? It's down the street. It's down the street. Como decimos en español, para abajo. <laughs> It's down the street. Down the street. Where is the bank? It's next to the hospital. Next to the hospital. Where is the church? You say it's on the left. Left. Uh -huh. It's on the left. On Está the left. A la izquierda. Uh -huh. It's on the left. <coughs> Where is the restaurant? It's on the right. It's on the right. Uh -huh. Excellent. It's on the right. Otra manera de preguntar. Ahorita estamos preguntando cómo. Where is? Where is? ¿A dónde está? ¿A dónde está? Where is? Ahora hay otra manera de hacerlo diciendo How do I get to? ¿Cómo llego a? Uh, how do I get to? So you can ask, how do I get to the museum? Let's repeat. How do I get to the museum? How do, how I, do, I, do I get to the museum? museum? Okay. Go straight on. Go straight on. Ajá, uh -huh. esto es como cuando decimos, vaya a ser recto. <laughs> Go straight on. Go straight on. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Uh, it's across from the school. Okay, how do I get to the police station? How do I get to the police station? How do I get to the police station? Go. 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 
You can say go straight on o go to blocks. Cuando dice blocks se refiere a las cuadras. 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 Ajá. Vaya, camine dos cuadras. Ajá. Go to blocks. Turn on the right. Turn, turn on the right. Go one block. Go. It's on the left. On the right. Uh -huh. So you say, go to blocks, turn on the right, go one block. It's on the left. It's on the left. How do I get to the hospital? Go to the corner. Corner. As by a esquina. Turn on the right. Turn right. Right. Turn right. Go straight on. Go straight on. It's at the corner of Park Avenue and Oak Street. How do I get to the stadium? I to block. Go to the corner. Turn right. right. Go to Go to blocks. It's on the right. Opposite the gas station. Pregunten nunca. Okay. How do I get to the garage? In a garage? This is the garage. Okay, you can say garage to the uh, taller. El taller de autos. In English, we call it garage. Okay. How do I get to the garage? Go. Go. Go to blocks. Go left. 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 It's on the right, across from the park. Can you say thank you for your help? And you're welcome. That is easy, it's just a practice, yeah? Ooh. All right. Um, that's the next exercise. Okay, in the next exercise, we have um, this. Okay, we have uh, this conversation. As you can see, they are asking for and giving directions, okay? Estamos ahorita en la parte donde vamos a estar preguntando y dando direcciones, ¿verdad? So you can see there. Is that okay? Okay, so we're gonna listen the conversation and then you tell me if you find new vocabulary, okay? okay. We have uh, the topic, is it far from here? Let's repeat, is it far from here? 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 Okay, ahí estamos preguntando si está lejos, right? Is it far from here? 
que suspenden también los pagos de crédito de las casas comerciales. Con la ok, so we're going to listen and repeat this conversation. Les voy a poner el audio. Me dicen si tienen dudas con el vocabulario y luego pro practicamos pronunciación. Page 89, exercise 8, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, do you have any question about the, the pronunciation or about new vocabulary? Building. Uh, building. El, el edificio. Ajá, uh -huh. building edificio. Mom. Okay, when you say ma'am, eso es, es como decir madame. It's a French word, uh -huh. it's a French word, ma'am, it's madame. Si fuera un señor, le diría sir, uh, sir. Ma'am. Okay, no more question about pronunciation or vocabulary? Yes, teacher, pronunciation, the cathedral. 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 Aha, uh -huh. cathedral. 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 Okay, let's listen one more time. La vamos a escuchar una vez más para que luego la practiquen ustedes en pareja, ¿ok? Page 89, exercise 8, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, ready to practice the conversation? Ready? Ready. Ready. Okay, uh, did you take the picture? Ya to okay, ya tomaron. No, okay. Take a picture and send it to the group, or maybe I will do it. Ahorita les mando la, la captura. Okay, no había visto acá. Buenas noches. Okay. Uh, I'll send you the picture. Les voy a mandar la, la picture. Okay, there you have the picture. Ya les mandé la picture de la conversación. Los voy a poner um, en grupos y algunos van a quedar quizás en pareja. Acuérdense que hay que darle clic a um, join o unirse para que puedan practicar. Y acuérdense de cambiar rol, ¿verdad? Para que practiquen ambos. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Ok, four sections. Ahí vamos. Yeah. 
Este. Ay, ahí está, ahí no entro. Ok, you cannot enter. I got Patricia dice acá no que problem. no ha entrado. Y la voy a reasignar, a ver si puede. No hay problema. No sé por qué. No le sale el mensaje, ya se lo volví a mandar. No, me quedé con la pantalla de inglés. Es que me sale ver que mi conexión está inestable. A lo mejor es por eso entonces. Voy a practicar. Sola. Ok, aquí Ajá. con Karen tal vez. Sí. Karen. Voy a practicar yo solo. Karen, Karen, are you there? Karen. Ok, parece que se nos fue Karen. Ok, bueno. Karen. Creo que se fue Karen a ver la cadena, quizás. No voy a... Sí, es cierto. Es que ya tenemos un caso. De veras, yo no, no he visto. No he visto, no, 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 como hemos estado en, en Metapan. ¿Dónde es eso? Sí. De Meta, Metapan es, no sé, es, no sé por dónde, pero es de ahí de Metapan. Uy, está cerca en Santa Ana. Que venía, que se dice un tipo que entró de Guate por Punto Ciego. Uy. Vaya. Es que estuvieron, los, los coyotes estuvieron pagando, les estuvieron pagando a ellos 200 dólares para que los entraran. Entonces entró un montón de gente sin control. Wow. No imaginas. Sí. Qué nervios. Ok. Sí. Wow. Ahí vienen de vuelta. Ya, ya, ya. Ya es almost time. Bueno, tuvimos un problema ahí que no pude, o oh, Patty no pudo entrar a una, a ninguna sección, pero los demás creo que sí lograron practicar, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. All right. That's perfect. Uh, recuerden que esto ya estamos a mitad de la sección 3. Así es que esperaría que ya vayan al día con los ejercicios de la sección 3. O por lo 3. menos ya terminar los de la 2. Y acuérdense que al terminar la sección 3 van a encontrarse con un examen, que es el midterm exam. Hay que hacerlo. Y ya vayan viendo qué temas han sentido usted que necesitan refuerzo para que hagamos un repaso antes de terminar el módulo. ¿Ok? Ok. All right, so we're going to stop here. Vamos a, a eso era lo que había para la clase de ahora. Así es que pues, ni modo, ¿verdad? Tranquilo, solo hay que tratar de seguir las indicaciones, lavarse las manos, no exponerse lo menos que se pueda, ¿verdad? Y, y pues que Dios nos socorra. Ok, so okay, see, you, see you tomorrow. Thank See you, you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.